Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome back to Neil and Jan's reselling. Um, here we are next to Buttercup Meadow. Can you turn the camera around and show Buttercup Meadow? Because it's so pretty. It is just like really pretty. Can you and, see uh, that? I don't know if you saw in front of us. We're just slowly driving in because we're early. We are. This is us. Uh, and it's a driving. beautiful sunny day on Bank Holiday Monday, which is what was it, 31st of May today? 31st of May today. Um, so that's really cool. So this is. Oh, um, I hate this road though. I absolutely hate driving over bumpy. This is Hickstead, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Mega boots. Uh, well, Mega they call it Sales Common, but I'd call it Hickstead. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting it down as Hickstead. So if you found this film, it'll be because it says Hickstead Cup. Um, yeah, up. it's the one opposite uh, the Hickstead showground on the A23. So if you want to come to it, it's normally very well subscribed, isn't it? It is, yeah. Lots of sellers, lots of buyers. Had an absolute phenomenal day um, yesterday. It's uh, slow setting up this morning. That might be because we're early. Which is good. I like a bit of early. Here's as they as we come in. Can you remember how much this one is? Uh, three pounds. Three. Yeah. Right, and we're sitting here looking at two, no, three rows of sellers queuing up to get onto the field. In fact, there we go. Let's quick turn the camera around, uh, so you can see that there's there is literally three rows of sellers waiting to get in. Um, so that'd be pretty cool. So looking forward oh, to uh, cars and cars and cars full of possibilities. Possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a car park of dreams, isn't it? No, it's, it's the, the field, field of, of dreams. dreams. It's, it's a, a different a... field of dreams from yesterday's dreams. Yes. Yes. Although saying that from yesterday, I would be quite happy to get exactly the same again. I uh, have a really good day. Yeah, um, I'd like some similar things to the ones I've been buying yesterday and the day before. Plus, today I want to get fruit and veg because we've got a fruit and veg van here. Oh, uh, right. Or okay. often do. And um, then it will save us having to go to Sainsbury's later. And Yeah. And it always, their fruit and veg always looks so lovely. And a sensible size, you know, you don't get these little orange size cauliflowers and things They're like that that you get in Sainsbury's and stuff. supermarkets. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, because my very first job was in a greengrocer's shop. Right. It was 50 years ago. I was 13 years old and 13 days. Right. And I earned 13p an hour. Wow. It was bloody hard work. My training was get out there and serve. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the day we went decimal. Wow. There you cool. go. You got all my personal information there. You can work out everything about me back from that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to we'll now cut to us going round. And uh, we shall see you guys in a bit. It's all too early. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's the sunshine, it brings you out, doesn't it? So, well, I'll come back round again once it's all out. But it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, you just don't know what, what's going to be in that under that next item, do you? So, we've got some toys there and uh, some books. Um, interesting, there's a couple of amplifiers there for I think for in cars, but that's not something I know anything about. And there's some handbags down there, but I don't really know uh, anything about those brands. Also had a quick look in the boxes, uh, just to see if I could see any Wii games. Um, I'm still looking for Wii games. And also, um, 
Also some yeah. Xbox 360 games as well. Uh, the cuddly toys on the uh, on the table there and that. Um, it's not really anything I'm looking for. Unless there's some Builder Bears, but I didn't really notice anything. <laughs> A little camera here. It's a little, it's a little boots one. Yeah. What do you think of boots? Sorry. Uh, Depends how much you bought, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey? Uh, how much are you looking at on your little camera? Uh, £5. Uh, no, I'll, I'll leave it somewhere else. Um, I'm leaving the camera for £5 because I'm actually picking up. Um, Nikons and Olympuses and stuff like that um, for two or three pounds. So uh, I didn't see any point in uh, in paying a lot more for the Boots brand, which is is quite a, good, a cheap brand. Nice ready pinky coat there. Listen. <sighs> And a lot of these are still not out properly. And then you've got traders. Um, there's obviously, the traders. Uh, it's not the type of stuff that I'm looking for. Hello. Hello. How much are you looking at on your on your DVD player? Three pounds. Three pounds? Okay. And how about the Tom Tom? Uh, Tom Tom is 15. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, mm. Is it going to stay like oh. this, like the rope? Is this your first time here? You've never been? Uh, yeah, they kind of... It just stays. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to stay so that people... Yeah. It's a bit weird, but yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to keep people at a distance. Yeah, yeah. It's odd, but, you know. At least we can come out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh... Yeah, I'll leave that for a minute. I'll have a think about that and come back to it. Have a good day, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That player was um, on the left hand side was really quite badly scratched up, um, so I decided not to on that one. And lots more table space not out properly. It's the thing about going really early. Um, it's good but there's a lot of stuff that isn't set up obviously. What you've been buying? Um, it's very similar to Ladro. Not Ladro. But, but look, nice. It's quite a nice one. How much? Oh, it's all wrapped up. In yeah, no, how much? Two. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to keep going round and uh, Say all these, I've got to come back round to a lot of this because it's yeah. just not out. Um, obviously, there's some jewellery there on the table. I don't know anything about jewellery. And these guys are just looking at. Some games there, and I'm going to uh, 
once they're once they've got what they want, I'll have a little look. Looks like there's some uh, Xbox 360 games and some PlayStation. I think PlayStation 4 yes. games. Thing. How much? How much are you? Uh, how much? Sorry. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah, Cheers. Right. Thank you very much. So that Yeah. Why I checked the discs after I paid, I don't know. Um, there's some dogs. Well, I don't know if it's dog. There's probably cat stuff there. Um, More DVDs and stuff. There's, there's a, uh, in the box in the right-hand corner. Um, there's a telescope, and I'm umming and ahhing. I'm just not sure. I've seen a few telescopes. Um, Clothes, I haven't got a great clue on. Uh, again, in the boxes, I'm just checking to see if there's any games. Good radio just there. Let's have a little look at that radio. Hello, how much are you looking for for the little radio? Radio, two pounds for that. Take one fifty for it? Yeah, two pounds. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. There we go, nice little Robert's radio. So there's a bread maker there, um, I'm umming and ahhing whether to uh, have a bit more of a look, but it's the size of it and where I'm going to store it, um, so I decide not to. Yeah. Such a lovely day out here. Again, more clothes. That's that I wouldn't have a clue on. Oh, we've got some um, some gaming headsets here. And now, this would be. I'm thinking for myself, to be honest. Um, but the only only problem with these is that uh, I think they're they're now doing wireless, um, and and that's obviously wired. Hmm. 
but I'm still gonna ask how much they want for them. Excuse me. How much are after for these? Um, the brand new ones. I want four for. Yeah, the other two. I do two for each. Right. Do you know with what games consoles these? Xbox One or PS4? Because they've got um, wireless ones now. Yeah, that's what I was uh, thinking. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, do a bit more research. Um, so do you know, do these just plug into the actual console? Yeah. They do, so you've got to be within console di yeah. distance. Uh, right. I've only recently just got a console. Oh, really? It's a, yeah. Uh, I went for years um, playing uh, 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 games on PCs, and I'm just swapping over to consoles. Oh. Uh, I don't know what what works with them. <laughs> so, anyway, have a good day. If you can hear that, I'm just having a sip of coffee whilst uh, whilst doing the voiceover. Just when you put it in the Yeah, I don't want to move space to work here yet. S-E-O. You need to spell it out so you can see, yeah? Is that the right way around? Have you said it in it or not? So there's a skateboard there, and um, it's just a little skateboard. Um, I heard somebody else was picking them up um, and selling them for um, are doing reasonably, but I I picked one up a while ago and it still hasn't sold. So until, until the one that uh, that I currently have sells, I'm not going to buy any more. And this is obviously all trader stuff. Don't get me wrong, trader stuff's good um, um, uh, for some people, but the most of it is not what I'm looking for. What's this? Hiya. Alright, how are you doing? These look interesting, I have no idea what they are. They're all air aircraft engine parts. Oh, right. Yeah, CFM uh, gearbox. These are gearbox parts. Right. That's a fan blade. You know, off of the. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what they are. All that made out of titanium now. Interesting. Have you tried selling them here before? No, no. I've just I've I've um, sold quite a lot of it. Yeah. Um, but I just want to bring it here. Might find someone who's interested. Somebody who's interested. Yeah. Well, it's definitely interesting. Yeah. Have a good day.
This is really interesting that this guy it has put his stuff so far away from the line so that no one can get any anywhere near it. Some vases and uh, things there. Again, nothing that I recognise. It's really difficult. The, you know, there's so much stuff at car boot sales, and there's so much stuff of value. But it really comes down to for reselling that knowledge of uh, of of what it's worth, knowing what something is worth. And what's the right price to pick it up for? And this will be the first time I go round the car boot sale here uh, today. Um, I do then continue to uh, to go round another two times. <laughs> um, so I go round three times in total. Hello, Here's Jan. Let's see what she's got. Yes. How's it going? All right. I haven't got anything else since last time I saw you. Got another radio. Picked up some more eggs. Yeah. Picked up a, a, a couple of a couple more games uh, for 50 p each. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 50. I would suggest, as we've so, got so much stock, you can afford to be a little bit choosy about what you're picking up. Yeah. In terms of Robert's radios and definitely not Boots cameras at home. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> okay, so that was Jam re referring to the amount of stuff that I picked up yesterday. Um, that. Uh, we ha have quite a lot of stuff to uh, uh, post on eBay, and uh, I don't just have to take anything. Um, I can be a little bit more choosy. Hmm. Lots of jams there. And there's some Roller boots. Now I know Bowers a good brand, but I'm also looking at kind of how plastic. I know they kind of have a plasticky kind of, but it, it's the feel of the plastic I was looking for. I don't know much about roller boots, but they just didn't feel as quality as I was. Uh, I would like to pick them up for. Hello. Morning. Oh, yeah. Morning. 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 Don't want to think computers here. Um. Say yes, don't probably on. not. No. Up. Just coming away from computers and getting more into games consoles. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the key issue with game consoles is that you, like, to get an upgrade you're going to have to wait another 10 years. Well, I've been playing World of Warcraft for years. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the thing is, World of Warcraft, it doesn't need a heavy PC to run it. Well, the trouble was that I, w I was uh, an iMac person. Slaps me. He's going to attack me in a minute. <laughs> Apple are good at what they do. 
but they make you pay through the nose for fucking everything. It was yeah. I I I still use I still use it for film editing and stuff. I mean, it's like nine yeah. years old now. I mean, the thing is that thing when that first came out. Yeah. It was probably about eight thousand pounds. Yeah. And you can get a, you can get a PC the equivalent or more powerful that would do the job better for about a thousand pounds. Yeah. Like see, well, Apple, they make you pay for everything. They really, they are really good for film editing. I have to admit. Yeah. Well, that that's what I use it for, and yeah. and the laptop at the moment that I have got, um, I've I've moved over to Parrot OS. So. I've used, it, yeah. I've, I've used uh, stuff like um, uh, Linux, Ubuntu, and a few of the others. Yeah. yeah they are very good. And they're becoming a lot more compatible now. So I, I really, really like uh, uh, Parrot OS. I, I was starting to get into a little bit of security stuff, oh, right. uh, which yeah. is just all preloaded. Yeah. Um, but it is, I just find it a really nice operating system to use. Some of them but, are. Is the yeah. Parrot one Linux based? Yes, yeah, it's, it's Linux. It, it's. Um, have you he heard of uh, Kali? Yeah. Well, it's. Uh, I'd say it's a friendlier version than. Uh, 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 to Cali. Yeah, well, it's like Ubuntu is so, so, uh, so just use a friendly version of well, yeah. any form of Linux almost. I mean, you can get the uh, what is it, the basic Linux, which needs absolutely bugger all to run, but you can't really do much. Well, that that's the thing is that uh, that's why I've put it on my old laptop. Is yeah. the Windows it's starting to struggle, and it's like, but you put Linux on it, and it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like Linux, it's it, it's. You don't need to do a reinstall every year. I mean, with Windows, especially something like. Going from Windows XP all the way to Windows Vista 7, yeah. it really needs to have a reinstall every year yeah. to make it run properly. So right. Windows 10, it kind of does it all for you. Yeah. You don't need to reinstall half as much. So. But I've just got, uh, so I've just moved over to. Um, uh, uh, as playing stuff on consoles because you know if, if it's a if it, if it says it's a playstation 4 game it then it'll run on yeah, playstation 4 yeah. but i'm having all this problem on that on 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 the computer stuff knowing what will it actually run on there's so many different graphics that, cards yeah, and I mean, the thing with computers is if you buy the new, new uh, either the previous generation or the new generation graphics cards it, it they will still run anything yeah you can get a, you can get a uh, four generations ago Nvidia card and it will still run AAA games. Right. So yeah. Nvidia are probably the better ones to go for, especially older generations because they're the most compatible. But ATI have yeah. really caught up. Well, for, for me it was a case of I, 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 I was looking for um, uh, like a Razer laptop. Expensive. Yeah, and it, it, it's very it's very like expensive. well that's very expensive. Or I can go to a games console. I'll stick with a games console for a minute. <laughs> uh, what have you got? What kind of console? Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 3. Uh, so you haven't got the PS5 yet, then. Haven't got the no, the no. The moment, no. No, well, I've actually just, I've actually just started to do some buying and selling. Oh, okay. Um, on eBay and stuff and yeah, I mean, around I've here. Just sold my entire PS2 collection with quite a few rare games. Yeah. But for me, but for me, it's a case of well, if I, I'm trying to get basically one of each of the consoles, mm. uh, and then if I'm buying games and um, and controllers, I, I, I can then. Um, it won't work on this phone. But I can then test stuff. Is all I'm thinking of. There is an app. Uh, where is it? Basically, it categorises all your games and consoles. Oh right. And it will give you a, a, what they're worth as well. Right. And then. Um, uh, there's certain cases if you've got something rare, yeah. it would acknowledge that, right. and then say this is what it's worth. So oh, right. I think all you have to do, because if your phone's got a camera, which they do now, don't yeah. just scan the barcode of the game. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. That is it. But I'm, 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 I'm sticking most things. I'm, I'm actually going through most things on eBay and, and checking yeah. out what they've sold for and all that kind That's of stuff. Uh, I cannot for the last thing remember what it's called, but. Uh, Game collection, game. Uh, uh, game collector. Uh, there's I collect everything. Okay, it's not that one, I know. Right. I'm sure, but if you go online, it will give you the top ten apps for, yeah, for uh, uh, games for collections, games and collections. categorizing, and I can't remember what it's called. I'll, I'll check but, some out. But the one that I use, it gives you the prices there and then. If something becomes rare, right. it will actually notify you and let you know. No, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, 
and uh, certain games do become rare and then all of a sudden they don't. Yeah. I don't know why. It's odd, like isn't it? Battlefront 2 for the uh, original PS2. Right. For the PS2. That, I think the price of that went up, if it was in good condition and complete, it went up to like 50 quid. Right. Wow. And now it's gone down to about 20. I, I don't oh, know why it goes maybe there's suddenly more people releasing them and selling uh, them. And yeah, I think there's uh, once some. Uh, yeah, once. How much is uh, it? I don't know. Bag. How much is the pink thing? The pink thing. Uh, the, the, pink, the, the, the pink thing. Oh, I'll, I'll leave you to sell anyway. But Thanks. brilliant having a chat. And you. Have a great day. I'll try. I want yeah. It, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> if you want a PC, no, I want it. it. Yeah, no, I will. I will. So I picked up one coffee maker the other day, um, again, I only have a limited space to uh, store stuff, so things of size, unless they look absolutely amazing, um, I'm trying to keep the size down of, of, of some of the things that I'm picking up. It's slightly different with Blu-ray players, DVD players, and things like that, um, because at least they will stack on on top of each other for storing. And I so said the ideal kind of things are cameras and and stuff like Sorry. that um, that are quite small. Brand new, yes, they're normally about 25 pounds so. though. Yeah, brand new. I'm going to stick to 10 for now. And we've got a big gap here. It's nice to see a nice bit of grass, but obviously we're here to buy things. Got some games on the table there. Just a, a phone case. Wondered if there was a phone in there. Yeah, it's a very long bit to manage, isn't it, Joe? Mm -hmm. Just a mouse. And that was a, a looks like a mount for sat nav. And the other day, I managed to buy a sat nav without a mount. So I will just check them out if I if I come across any. Remember, if um, if you see anything here um, as I go along. Uh, I know I'm zooming past quite a lot of these ones that I think don't interest me, but if you see anything that you think, oh, you really should have picked that up, Neil, um, then d drop a comment down below and uh, I shall have a look and see uh, see what you think I've missed. We've got a nice, nice big glass ball there shining away uh, on the table. Well, I think it's kind of shining. So I'm just going to have a look. Is that a paper on it? 
It's a bit big for a paperweight, really. did just have a look to see if that was if that was Ladro um, but it, it I think it was a Spanish brand um, hi how much you're asking for the paperweight and um, two pounds two pounds um, and then you can put a light box through it. I think the light box needs a new battery and then it shines. Oh, right. Project. So I suppose. Right, uh, okay. Uh, Would you take 150? Not yet, no. Right, it's worth asking, isn't it? Yep, here you go. How much is that? Two pounds. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Oh no, that's frustrating. That looks like a Wii board CD player. on the floor, and oh. I'm looking at the. Um, oh. It's a Technic CD player, oh. and I've completely missed that there's a Wii board on the floor. Oh, is this your table as well? Oh, this is all. <laughs> this is all. So we're, we're moving. So we're oh, going. right. Let's clear out everything. That we've How got much are you looking at for the. Ollie, the, the um, whatever you call it. Uh, it's the CD player. CD player. Okay. Just. And I move on. I just missed that Wii board. I'm so frustrated at seeing that now. I've only just seen it. Oh, that would have been nice. A CD player. And still tables that aren't set up properly. Some ornaments on there. And plants. Quite nice plants. I was having to look for cold. It's 40 for that one. Yeah, it's really lovely. It's probably 1940s, 1950s. Yeah. Yeah. You've got 10 bits. I'm going to put my bits away. You have a stick left in the box. Now I picked up a record player on sun Saturday, Sunday. Um, I picked one up for fifteen pounds. Um, and this guy's asking 25 so as I've already got one I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna want to purchase another portable one until that one's sold and uh, so I get a really good idea of what they actually sell for I've got a feeling they may sell for 
Like my only sells for about thirty, and he's asking twenty-five. So. Got a little sat nav, little tom tom. What are you looking up for, little tom tom? Six. Six grid. I'll leave that for now. <laughs> So uh, I said I'd leave that for now because I've been picking them up for three or four pounds. I've already got about seven Tom Toms at that point over the weekend. It's really interesting actually uh, sitting here doing a voiceover um, and actually watching the stuff again. Um, you get to spot things that you, you didn't spot when you were actually there. <laughs> So there's a Tassimo machine there, um, oh, just kind of umming and ahhing yeah. about. Oh, Does he spend all day at So there's a controller there that I'm also looking at. Um, but I think it's a, um, a generic one. It's also a headset. I was wondering whether this is uh, if this is a wireless gaming one, uh, or if that's actually for a telephone. And I believe that's actually a telephone one, which is why I put it down. In hindsight, that might have been a good uh, that might have been a good item to buy. It was nicely boxed and that and uh, would have been good for reselling but at that point I was actually thinking about it for me Some green glass, a green glass bowl back there. Um, I don't know if that would have been a good thing. Nice canvases. You've got uh, a dictaphone there on the table. Um, Thank you very much. I was looking at
Some puzzles in the box there, but uh, as I was walking past, I could see there wasn't anything that was uh, over a thousand uh, pieces. Yeah, sorry about the humming. I can't get can't get the uh, humming thing to stop. Um, oh, that's fine. Thank you. Sorry about that. Whole load of teddies. Um, I don't fancy having to look through all of those to see if there's any any builder bears in there. Also looking at the books um, to see if there's any uh, any books that would look like they would go with courses and stuff. I love how we all haggle on things and then At this point, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, one of our subscribers, uh, well, uh, um, a couple, um, Paul and Julie, who uh, um, I met, and unfortunately, the my camera had turned off, although I was still wearing it at the time. Camera had actually turned off when I actually met them, or, or met, met Paul. His his wife was there. I didn't actually get to meet her face to face. I could see her in the distance, but uh, but anyway. So a big shout out to the two of them. Um, hope they had um, as good a day as we did, and uh, look forward to bumping into them in the future. Some the Russian dolls. Yeah, they're quite nice. Yeah. Goodbye, Russian dolls. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been in the loft for years. So when I got my own if when you guys are going around boot sales at, um, in the south of England, um, if you do see uh, myself and Jan, uh, please come and say hello, say hi. Um, obviously, you know that I wear a, a yellow tramp hat, and Jan is wearing a, is normally wearing a purple cap. And uh, yeah, come and say hi. It'd be great to uh, uh, to meet you and uh, and say hi. There's a record deck just there. Um, I've already got, I think, one or two record decks at the moment, so I'll be looking to sell them before getting any more.
Got another record deck there. So that's the second portable uh, one we've seen. Mm, we've got one. Mm -hmm. Still got to ask how much, you know, because if he says a fiver, then then we're a go, aren't we? But uh, see what he's asking. Excuse me, how much are you asking for the little record player thing? Uh, 25. Yeah, not for today. Yeah. So we've got a Wii console there. Just the Wii console by itself. But it's got this weird thing on the side which I didn't actually know what it is. How much are you looking for the little console? How much do you want for that Wii? Uh, that one's 20. It's got a modified chip on it so you can download games on the internet. Like put them on an SD card, it'll play anything. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, have you got that's any of the rest of the stuff? That's it. That's all you got? That's all it comes with, yeah. I upgraded the console. Kept the wires and whatever. Hmm. I'm not sure about the modified bit. Is that a charger for that? Yes. Mm. There, yeah. And he's asking and that's, £20. Pounds. That's now normally I'd be thinking £20 for a Wii, that's good, so, but it is by itself, there isn't anything else with it. Never went. Well, yeah, no, that's what but um, yeah, you charge it up and then also it does that for like, oh, yeah, for you know, if you, if you run out of juice. Saying that, mm. I will come by and leave that for now. Um, however, um, an hour or so later, it's still there, and I offer him 15, and he takes 15 for it. So I do actually have that, and I'll have to do some research on how much the modified Wii's actually, how much they're worth. Maybe do that in another film. If you guys enjoy watching these films of just walking around the car boot sale seeing what I pick up, seeing what I have a look at seeing what I missed obviously if I've missed anything that you think I really should have picked up then drop a comment down below I'd love to hear about it um, but if you do enjoy this kind of content and you haven't subscribed yet please consider s subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell to get the notifications when the new films come out that would be really great uh, obviously if you've got to this point in the film you've probably liked it so please hit that uh, hit the uh, hit the like button because all the likes that we get on the channel obviously help help the channel grow help more people get to see the films And also don't forget that uh, this is us having a, a walk around but there'll be a more in-depth um, film of a show and tell to actually show exactly what, what myself and Jan um, actually, actually bought. Um, obviously this camera is on me at the moment 
and um, here's what I, I picked up so uh, there's all the stuff that Chan buys will also be in the show and tell hmm. I'm um, just coming to the end of the uh, amount of memory I have in the memory card and uh, so don't forget to uh, have a watch of the show and tell and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm.